Hello, and welcome back to Down the Rabbit Hole. Today, we're going to talk about an urban legend that takes us all the way to the Lone Star State. I've actually been to this Lone Star State. I went to Houston a couple of years ago for a Rochio Christie conference, and it was so fun. Was literally, as soon as we got into Texas, like, for a whole hour straight, we were playing, I literally had a playlist, like, for all of the text, for all songs relating to Texas. And of course, we had to do God Bless Texas. Um, and all my exes live in Texas. And all of that, like, you can't not go to Texas and not do it. At least for me, I love traveling. So that was like a amazing experience. And I hope to make it out there again one day. Um, but right now, I'm enjoying being in Nashville. So, well, the Nashville area. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> But if you're new here, hit that like button, ring that bell for notifications. Also, please subscribe. Help a girl out. My goal is to get 100 subscribers before the end of the year. So, for those of you that don't know, this is Down the Rabbit Hole. And if you click here, you'll probably want to know the candy lady, the urban legend behind all of this. Well, here on Down the Rabbit Hole, we happen to talk about stuff, subjects like this. And this really came across me. I was like going through my reels and stuff. Like, okay, I have to say, say this. So I did, and I had to write it down, so I actually did my research, and there wasn't much I could find on it, so this is probably going to be a bit of a short episode, and for that, I do apologize. But the Candy Lady is a chilling urban legend that was that originated in Terrell, Texas, and it, roots, and it has roots back to the early 20th century. Now, there was a woman by the name of Clara Crane who is believed to have been responsible for the disappearance of several children in the town. What do you think, Dead Fred? Do you agree with that? I think Dead Fred agrees. Okay. Um, but, so, what was this? Well, Clara Cl Crane was reportedly married to an older man and had a daughter who had, and had a daughter named Marcella, who died in an accident. Blaming her husband for their daughter's death, Clara would allegedly murder him po by poison caramels. And she was institutionalized at a North Texas lunatic asylum, but she was later released due to overcrowding. And after Clara's release, children in the area began to go missing, sparking fear and paranoia among the townspeople. The legend of the candy, candy lady would emerge as children reportedly finding candy on their windowsills, leaving a note for them to say, come play. Okay, that's just weird in general. Like, if you're gonna do that, it's like... Honey, I barely go outside as it is, so I don't want to play with you um, and everything. But some children confess to eating the mysterious, late, mysterious candy before disappearing, and the legend took a dark turn when the police deputy began to investigate the disappearance and also went, who also went missing and was later found dead and stabbed with a fork. The, can the story of the candy lady has been passed down through generation in Sorrel, instilling fear and caution among residents. While many details may vary in different retellings and legends, the core element involves Clara Crane's tragic past and her alleged involvement in the disappearance of the children, poison candy, and the eerie incidents surrounding those who delve too deeply into the dark deeds. So. This candy lady, urban legend serves as a cautionary tale, but trusting strangers and the consequence of delving into the mysteries that may be left untouched. So, okay, this is very strange. If you're from Texas, this area, and you heard about this, is there any truth to it? Um, I'm very curious to know. Um, but yeah, but that's it for this episode. I will see y'all next time.